Did you know two or more different timetable cycles can be accommodated in SIMS using multiple timetables? Prep schools and senior schools often have different working days, different length periods and different start and end times. For all through schools, multiple timetable functionality allows both time structures to be held in SIMS so that teachers and student timetables, cover and lesson registers will accurately display period times for all. Let's take a look. Multiple timetable functionality is made available by the application of a license. Please be aware that it's imperative that once the license has been applied, no timetable is sent to SIMS from Nova T6 until the master timetable cycle has been set up. And that is where we will begin. From Tools, Academic Management, Define Timetable Cycle. We open this screen. You will already have set up tiers in the pastoral structure. Tiers are groups of years, such as senior years and prep years. The timetable segments here include one tier each, but can include more if necessary. For example, in some schools, the sixth form might be tiered separately from the seniors, but could be included in the senior segment if the timetable cycle is the same. You will notice that only one master timetable cycle can be active at any one time. So if the prep school change the number of periods in their day, for example, a new master structure will need to be developed. From the timetable tab, we can view the cycle for each segment, senior and prep. Notice that the prep school periods have a prefix of P for all periods to uniquely identify them. For the timetabler in Nova T6, the change is slight. Defining the period times, which used to take place in NT6, is now completed in SIMS, as we've seen. Timetables for each segment should be set up as separate files. This is the senior file, and here is the prep school file with, as you can see, more periods. There is just one restriction here. If, for example, a two-week timetable is in use for seniors but not prep, then the prep school timetable will need to be duplicated to give it the same two-week shape. It is important that teacher codes are consistent. There must not be duplicate codes across the tiers. Rooms, too, must have unique names. There may be junior and senior art rooms, for example, or IT suites. Make sure that they're clearly defined. Any teachers that teach across the school, in both seniors and prep, let's say, will need to have the hours taught in one timetable blanked out using non-class codes in the other to avoid them being double booked. There is a new report which will check for clashes between timetables. With both open, go to Reports, Multiple Timetable Conflicts. So when you are ready to send the timetable to SIMS, there is no longer any need to export the timetable cycle. This has already been set up in SIMS. You will send each timetable in turn. The only difference you will see is that NOVA recognises which is the correct timetable segment to send it to in SIMS. Here you can see this timetable segment has recognised it is the prep school cycle and it will send it through as such. If the cycle in SIMS does not exactly match that set up in NOVA, you will receive a critical error message and that will look something like this. Once the timetables have been successfully submitted to SIMS, you will need to apply the timetable in the normal way and then set up Lesson Monitor if it is in use. This is done from Tools, Setups, Lesson Monitor Options and Lesson Monitor Setup. And here you will see both your prep school and your senior school and you will be able to set up AM and PM registration periods in this way. Each SIMS user can set up the tier that they work in as their active tier from Tools, Academic Management and Set Current Tier. This will have an effect of defaulting most screens to display that tier only, but with an option to display other tiers. With the tier set to Senior, when we move to Student Records, the tier defaults to Senior. And the same applies in Cover, the tier has defaulted to Senior. On the timeline on the home page, a teacher will see all their lessons regardless of the tier set. For example, in this teacher's timetable, they have a single session here, which is for the prep school, P7, in period 7, although the majority of their teaching 
and their timetable is in the senior area. The ability of SIMS to cater to two or more timetable cycles does have far-reaching consequences in the database and shouldn't be tackled in isolation. Its use, though, will provide more accurate timetables and a better and more user-specific experience for both teachers and administrators. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like more tips on getting the most out of SIMS, make sure you sign up to the SIMS Independent Newsletters. You can do this by visiting our website. Thanks for watching.